Maureen, do you notice these children on the screen? Oh, oh I know them. Yeah, those are Maureen's kids and they are fit and ready to go on this Friday. You'll need the umbrella at some point in time today, so have it handy. If you have it handy today, you're already set up for success as we take you through the weekend. And speaking of the weekend, you probably have plans to be had. And maybe if I can offer one suggestion, Maybe you don't necessarily head to a pumpkin patch to select your pumpkin, but maybe you already have one or you can dart to some other uh, local spot to get one, but you carve them together this weekend. It's a tradition that has always been in the Domsky household. So if you get to carve pumpkins this weekend, you know what? Send me a picture. I'd love to see them. Temperatures this weekend will be unseasonably cool by either five or about 10 degrees. And that five degree difference really starts tomorrow. We'll be back in the mid fifties. We'll have a cloudier start to the day, which is a different from what I was communicating yesterday morning on go. The models hinted at wet weather for tomorrow morning as of yesterday, but today things look drier, so that's fantastic for you. We do have on and off shots of rain as we go through the second half of your Saturday, and then we take on a north wind as the day goes on. So that means a few lake effect showers and breezy conditions as we go through the day on Sunday. And speaking of Sunday into Monday, I want to give you a good old heads up. You may have plans in place as you wrap up the weekend, but something else to add to the uh, breakdown of maybe the to do list you've got is upcoming frost potential Sunday night into Monday morning. I think temperatures in some of our rural zones could approach freezing if not hit that freezing mark. So temperatures are expected to get pretty chilly. So if you haven't already brought in some of those sensitive plants, this is the time to do so as we go through the next couple of days or at least bring it in the garage somewhere else to keep it warm. If you know uh, Northeast Ohio weather, this is no shock to the system. This cold front though ahead of it is all the steady wet weather we were talking about late last night all the way through this morning and some of you on the east side of Cleveland still dealing with this, but behind it we've got on and off shots for rain as we go through the second half of today. Temperatures are in the low to mid 50s right now. And speaking of the wet weather from Ashtabula County, parts of uh, far eastern Lake County, North Madison, Ashtabula out to Andover, you're still dealing with light variety weather down to Cortland too. This is stretching from Middlefield all the way down to parts of Portage County as well. And then even the Canton area just starting to dry in out. If you're around Akron, maybe to Medina, you are dry right now around Worcester, a few spotty sprinkles, New Philly to North out to Carrollton, light rainfall. The chances are going to be here as we go through the day. That's not going to be a shock to the system for you as you listen to me this morning. Temperatures will hang in the 50s today. We'll make it close to 60 at Cleveland Hopkins, but we fall short by maybe a degree or two. It'll be breezy, and if you're headed out for Friday night football plans, you'll want the rain jacket. Our winds are also going to be breezy, so that could also impact the kicking and passing game for some folks as they head through their Friday night football games. Our uh, rain chances, though, in your national summer on the hour forecast start to depart at least the most steady activity. We are still pretty scattered in nature as we approach noon, and then as we go through the later part of the evening, maybe dinner time, you've got plans lined up for your Friday night. Have the umbrella with you, too, just as Maureen's kids showed you. Tomorrow morning, we will be cooler than this morning by about 5 degrees all across northeast Ohio, so that puts us in the mid to upper 40s, but then the rain is back as we go through the second half of the day. Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast, we're near 50 for Sunday. Monday, my oh my, it looks fantastic. We've got so much sunshine and temperatures. If Monday isn't good enough for you, look at Tuesday and Wednesday. We do have a chance at a shower or two as our next system tries to make it in here late next week, but near 70 for late October. I don't think there are any complaints there, right? Oh my gosh. You know what, Peyton? We need to keep that all the way through the next week into uh -huh. Halloween. For Halloween, for trick-or-treating, of yes. course. Yes. All right. We'll see. Thank you so much.